Once upon a time, after a big flood had washed the earth clean, people everywhere spoke the same language. They found a nice flat land in a place called Shinar and decided to settle there. Imagine everyone being neighbors, understanding each other perfectly, like one big family. One day, the people had a big idea. Let's build a city with a tower that reaches up to the sky. It'll be so tall it'll touch the clouds, they said, excited to start. They used bricks instead of stones and sticky tar for glue. Everyone worked together, passing bricks and mixing tar, <laughs> laughing and dreaming about their sky-high tower. But then, something unexpected happened. God looked down from heaven and saw the city and the tall tower. Look at them, all speaking the same language, working together on this big project. If they can do this, they'll think they can do anything. They're forgetting that some things are meant for God alone. So, God decided to mix things up a bit. Suddenly, when one person asked for a brick, another handed them a shovel. Huh? When someone needed more tar, they got a bucket of water instead. It was like everyone had started speaking in riddles. Confused and frustrated, they couldn't work together anymore. The tower that was supposed to reach the sky was left unfinished. Because they couldn't understand each other, people started to drift apart, forming smaller groups with those they could communicate with. These groups traveled far and wide, finding new places to live. The big family was scattered across the earth, each group speaking its own new language. They traveled far, to places where no one had lived before. Each group found new lands with mountains, rivers and forests. They built new homes, using what they had learned, but this time, they respected their limits. The world was filled with a rainbow of languages, each as beautiful and complex as the next. Hmm. In these new lands, people's <laughs> lives took on new colors and shapes. They dressed in different clothes, sang different songs, and told different <laughs> stories under the stars. Children grew up learning how to say hello and I love you in their own special language. They learned from the land and the animals, and they celebrated the seasons in their own ways. In the end, the story of the Tower of Babel shows us that it's important to remember we're not all powerful and that God has plans we might not understand. God made us all different with many languages and ways of living, making the world a more interesting place. When we learn to listen and understand each other, we make not just buildings, but friendships that God smiles upon.